Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna make something fun tonight, I hope. I hope it's gonna be fun. I gotta have some lotion for my hands while I'm waiting for everybody to hop on. It's my coconut lotion from the Dollar Tree, which I love. If you're watching replay, just say hashtag replay. You, I know you were here. There's people hopping on, yay! It's Thursday. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Luann, yay! And Lori, can y'all see me okay? I'm still trying to get used to this light. <laughs> hey, Frida. Lotion on my hands, I'm dry. Hey, Claudia and Renee. Y'all tell me if I look okay, because I know it's a little crooked a little bit. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to this mount and everything. Hey, Patty and Patsy. Y'all welcome, everybody come on in and we're gonna make something, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we're gonna make something. Hey Rhonda and Loretta and Pam, all my friends. So y'all tell me if, I, if it looks okay. Pamela's got eyeballs. Hey Robbie. I can see comments, so that's a good thing, but it's all kind of cocked one way, I don't know. I tried to fix it and I was like, eh, it's okay. Hey, Pam. Good evening. Hey, Pam and Pam <laughs> and Missy. I have had a great day. I've been busy. Hey, Shelly. I look just like you. <laughs> okay. I hope so. This new light and everything, I'm just trying to get used to it. Oh, this is one of my Beware shirts. I love it, too. This is my, I love this color. Um, sprinkled the fun. Thank you, Ruth and Cindy. Okay. I just want to make sure it's bright enough. Cause you know, I have a handy dandy remote over here. I can change it too, but I'm scared I'll end up turning it off. I don't know. See, I can change it like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, Thursday fun, yes. My And I haven't been out in the sun in like a couple of weeks because it's been over 100 degrees, guys. I just I just cannot make myself get out there when it's over 100 degrees. And the water is hot, and I'm just like... So, um, hopefully, we're supposed to get some rain this weekend, which we need so, so bad. We haven't had rain in weeks, and everything is just, like, sizzling here because it's just dying. Hey, Misty, thank you. Hey, Ruth. Okay. Oh, my sunflower? Yes. And the other one is down here. Okay, Patty, yes, we'll try that. Yes. Tina, I look cute in a hat. Well, it was, I just decided it was hat day. <laughs> hey, Diane and Inez. Okay, so um, tonight's going to be another template for y'all. Um, to do with what you want to do with it. Um, so we are going to, I'm going to take this cutting board and yes, it looks, it's not a real cutting board. It's a sign. Okay. Um, it looks rough because I sanded it. Now Hobby Lobby has all their spring off 66% off and, um, you can get these pretty much anywhere. But what I'm going to do tonight, you don't have to put it on a cutting board. You can put it on anything you want to. I know Dollar Tree, they have the white ones and you could totally paint those up. I've done that too. This is what this looked like, okay? I got this at Walmart last year when they took their fall and put it like half off. So it was $4.98 at Walmart. And, I, and they were, it was like half or maybe 70% off and they marked them down. So I picked up like three of these and I haven't done anything with them. And here it is fall again and I'm just now starting to do something with them so that's where it came from um yes I got my wreath holder out here um I gotta make another one I've got to go get another spindle and get the stuff to make it with hey Becky and Deb so I sanded this off because it's it's that MDF wood stuff but then it has like this wood looking stuff on the top which um I'm gonna paint over that anyway Oh, Patches, you bought one at Dollar Tree. I mean, at Dollar Tree today like this. Awesome. So, you can use this. Um, what I'm going to do, you're gonna, you can do this on, on anything. Even just a little sign 
or the plastic ones at Dollar Tree, whatever you want to do. So you don't have to do a cutting board. That's just what I choose to do it on. Hey, Darlene from Florida. Hey, Rebecca. Okay, so I'm going to paint this first because what I'm going to do is going to go on here and I don't want it to have the dark spotches in the back. Yes, Rose, you caught me live. So I think I'm going to, I'm trying to think what I want to do. Okay, I think I'm going to plaster. I'm going to paint. Hey, Christy. Super hot in Champaign, Illinois. It's just hot everywhere, guys. I'm just convinced it's just everywhere. Um, oh, you picked up three today. Okay, good. So y'all can um, um, do what I'm going to do. Let me get, I won't make a mess. Hey, Judy, good evening. Hello, Susan. All right, so I'm just gonna, it's probably gonna take a couple of coats, but we'll sit here and chat and talk. Hey, Lisa. You got several of these, good deal. They're good to have. I'm um, Hobby Lobby had a whole bunch of different sizes and all that stuff, and I still haven't been since everything's been 66% off. And um, there's probably not anything left at mine, but we'll see. I think I'm going to kind of leave some of the roughness on the edge. I don't know. 14-inch spindle. Oh, you can only find the big ones? Yeah, those are the big ones. Now, that would look pretty in front of your mantle if you had a made one with the big table leg spindle. A lot of rain. We haven't had any in weeks. And weeks and our everything is just drying up and when it's 100 degrees every single day it's like the plants don't stand a chance the grass nothing unless you water it hey Angie hey April welcome to my page welcome welcome glad you're here um so yes I do have uh, like a little template for you to print um, to go with what I'm doing I racked my brain up and down today. I don't know why this was, <laughs> tonight was just so hard for me to come up with something and, cause what I had originally wanted to do would not work. Um, it's okay, Judy, it's, it's coming. Um, I cleaned up my studio yesterday because it was out of control out here. Like, and when it gets to a certain a certain point, I can't function. I have to, I have to just put everything back where it goes and get organized again because I cannot even, um, I'm just gonna paint it. I can't just, it just start, the wall start closing in. Hey Tracy, hey Joanne. So I organized a bunch of stuff and then today I worked on uh, fall designs and designing things and finding files and because some of them for my laser stuff some of them i make and some of them i some of them i design myself and then some of them i purchased the file um just like you would for your cricket or something like that it's kind of the same thing okay so my hand's getting a cramp holding it like that i'm gonna paint as much as i can until i have to Stop where my thumb is. So this is plaster. Oh, Donna, welcome. You welcome, welcome too. You, there's a bunch of newbies tonight. Is there's a couple so far? Um, you're gonna make your sunflower this weekend. Awesome. I love mine. I love it. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Debbie. Thirty inch to put on the floor in front of my or your fireplace. Yes. So you went with the 14? Well, if you have a crafty person in your life or uh, somebody has a saw, they might could cut it for you. And then you could, you wouldn't have to have the nine inch and then you'd have two kind of spindles. So you could do that. Oh, I see, welcome, welcome, Pam. So welcome, Pam, if you're new, welcome. So I'm just gonna give this a quick dry. And then continue on painting so I can hold the other side. And my hand is getting a uh, <laughs> is getting a cramp. It looks like I'm fixing to swat something or play pickleball or something. 
y'all know what pickleball is? I've never played pickleball, but I know what pickleball is. Hey, Susan, welcome. You're welcome, too. You, a bunch of people are new tonight. Um, Melinda, I'm making, I'm doing this little cutting board, and I have a little template for y'all, too, that's going to go with this that I'm using. And, of course, I always pass it on to you, and it's going to be in the, um, in my community group. So, you can get it, because it won't let me upload it here on the page. Hey, Mildred. Hey, Susan. And Gail from North Carolina, from South Carolina. So this is where the stickers were on the back and I took my heat tool and got it hot and got the stickers off, but you can still see where they were, but I'm just gonna paint it, paint over it. So I could really use either side. It's a big gloopy glob of something in my paint. I'll go ahead and do the sides again. Hey, Tina, pickleball. It does look like I'm going to play pickleball. I have a friend, um, she lives in Virginia and she plays pickleball all the time. And our stepsons have played pickleball, but I've never played. It's kind of like tennis and kind of like ping pong, I guess. I, I'm, I'm just guessing. I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> so I'm just, my friend in, uh, lives in Virginia, she loves it so much. She built a pickle co pickleball court in her backyard. Yes, it's fast growing sports, it is. Hey Pam, you're new from Durham, North Carolina. Um, Mary's new too, welcome. Um, it is the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. Um, that's where I put files and stuff because it won't let me put in here on the main page. Um, and it's just a group, it's a free community group here on Facebook where you can show your craft and look at everybody else's crafts and it's a great environment with a bunch of people, talented people. So that's where this little template I'm gonna show you in just a second is gonna go up. Thank you, Pam. Is gonna uh, go up to uh, when I get done tonight so you can make one of your own. Never heard of pickleball? It's like, a, they have little paddles, kind of like a racquetball paddle or something like that. Um, you're a huge fan, Dana, in Virginia. My friend lives in Virginia, and she built a, a purple pickleball court in her backyard. <laughs> She's a big Prince fan, so it had to be purple. Imagine that. <laughs> um, rather play cornhole. Now, my husband is a big cornhole player. Um, he goes to all these tournaments, and he has friends that are on ESPN and the whole nine yards. And we have people in our area that are some of the best in the world. Um, and it's pretty cool, but I mean, my husband's not that up to that level, but like we have friends of ours that have sponsors and the whole nine yards in Cornhole and they're all in Branson, Missouri right now. A bunch of them are. So it's pretty cool. But he loves to play cornhole. All right, I'm trying to get around this. Because I, I didn't want to take off the little um, string, so I'm going to leave it on. Okay, I think we're good. Whew. Oversized ping pong. Yeah, it's, I knew it was something like that. But I've never actually played myself. So I really can't say, but I felt like that's what I was playing when I'm holding this thing. I'm just touching it up different places. Um, you could, I could definitely do the other side, um, but this side has like a wood grain look on the front where I sanded, <laughs> sanded off the design. <laughs> one-eyed, uh, one-eyed purple, purple pickleball eater. <laughs> you love pickleball, I mean cornhole. Oh, Colin must be on, my oldest son. Hey, Colin, if you're on, I didn't see your comment. Ooh, I gotta paint that, y'all. I about missed that part. But this is plaster from Waverly, if you're wondering what paint I'm using, if you missed that part. And I'm just getting this painted, and you'll see why in a minute, because I don't want the brown to show through what I'm gonna do. Trying to get it all without getting my little rope there. 
This little spot is going to bother me. Hey, Julie. Um, Teresa, this was on clearance at Walmart last year. Um, I'll show you what it originally looked like. Um, but after fall was over and they put all their stuff on clearance from at Walmart, I got on and I was like, I got in there and I was like, oh, I really don't need any of this, but you know. And I actually bought a, several of these because it was originally $4.98 and it was like six, I don't know, 70% off. I don't know. It was like a dollar something probably. And this is what it looked like to begin with. And so I sanded this design off because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. Um, and then I just went ahead and painted over it. Hey, Paula. All right. Trying to get that dry. It's almost dry. Uh, Jane, I try. Okay. Am I done with this? I think I'm done with this. Okay. So now to the part where I'm going to show you what we're going to put on it. Okay. So... I did a little experiment today. You know how um, we've done stuff with printing and we ran the, um, we put um, tissue paper in the printer, okay? I did that today and I did, I did some fabric. This is just this real thin, almost like broadcloth, if you know what's about sewing. And it's just this thin, real thin, oatmeal colored cotton. Um, and I taped it, I left it on here so you could see. I taped it all the way across the top of my paper and I put it in the center so I would kind of know where my borders were. Um, and I taped it to my paper and then you have to figure out which way your printer prints, whether it's gonna, you have to put it face down or face up. Um, and then run it through your printer, but be sure and tape the edge where the leading edge is going to be so it doesn't catch on the rollers. So that's how I did mine. I mean, Y'all can see the tape. It's all shiny. I taped all around it except the bottom because I knew it was going to pull it that way. Hey, Beth. Okay, so I'm going to take it off this paper. I mean, I left it so I could show you. This came straight out of the printer, and I'll show you something cool on the back, too. Look, on, look it went all the way through. If you can see the sunflowers on the through the through the uh, fabric but if you don't want to do it on fabric you can do it on um, your tissue paper like I showed you before and have you seen that lots of other crafters do it um, I was just gonna want to try something different and do the fabric instead just to see if I could make it happen because you know Carol with be inspired with Carol she did it on those on the leftover canvases and it went through her printer and it was fine it was beautiful okay so i also did it i did it i did it small to start with and i thought well that's a little too small so i did it on a dictionary page i just taped my dictionary page it's really thin right to my paper and printed it on that this would be really pretty you could do it on a book page and you could also do it on tissue paper, okay? So, see, this is on tissue paper. So, you could do this on here with tissue paper or fabric. I just liked this fabric, and I want to put this on this cutting, this, um, oh, there's Colin. I have arrived. You're so funny. Um, Diana, somebody will probably put the link, um, Lenore, I have a laser jet printer because I print so many invoices and stuff all day long. Um, so, you, but you can use a regular inkjet printer because I know when we've done projects in the past, people said theirs worked. Oh, yay, Gail, this is right up your alley. Yeah, Carol's came out pretty. She did the uh, that old-timey Santa and she ran the the canvas that we, she took off a canvas a artist canvas she ran that through her printer and it came out so pretty i don't know if y'all saw that um whoop, i got tape still on here sticking to me hey Susie from denmark um th donna this is like really thin cotton I, I mean it's it's really i mean i can um you know i can sit pretty much see through it it's so thin but it's cotton 
Um, yes, and look how beautiful it is. I mean, it turned out so pretty. When it came out of the printer, I was I just squealed because I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Because it looks a whole lot better than I anticipated it to look. So now I'm just trying to figure out, I think I'm going to do it like this. So now, where's my scissors? <laughs> Got 10 pairs of scissors in here. I can't ever find a pair. Okay. So I'm going to, I don't want it as big as my cutting board is. So I'm gonna um, see if I can, okay. Hopefully this is gonna work, but I don't know. Cause you know, I don't like tearing little stuff. And let's just hope I don't mess this up by tearing it. Cause I want that, I want that frayed looking stuff. Oh, is Amber Strong on here? Hey Amber. Hey girl, what's up? Uh, had court here in our town. Okay. But I want some of the side to show, so I'm just trying to get, so I'm gonna cut. About right there. See, it tears so easy because it's just real light cotton. I'm gonna get this down here like so and I've already realized something I forgot hmm and I'm gonna have to reach for it in just a second it, it's kind of like muslin I I got it at Hobby Lobby but it came from like the back wall of Ho Hobby Lobby where they have the the duck cloth and all of that stuff duck cloth you know is really thick and kind of coarse kind of stiff it's kind of like muslin but when i go back because i need more i'm gonna actually look and see what the name of the end of it is and i will show y'all i will post a picture becky all you do is you take whatever it is like if this is tissue paper you just cut your tissue paper out a little smaller than your paper because I knew where it was going to print so I cut it off down here and I put scotch tape all the way across the top as you can see it and that's gonna that was the leading edge to where it feeds in through and then um, I just ran it through the printer and it's so pretty okay it's it's not real hard to do at all you just have to figure out which way your printer kind of feeds whether whether you need to place it face up or face down so I had to run a couple of pieces through it like put a mark on a page and it would go through and then I would know okay this is the back so it gets it goes face down you know which is the top which is the bottom and I'd run it through and that's how I kind of figured out what the leading part of my printer is what end goes in first I guess or how it feeds so I had to figure that out too. But when in doubt, just tape it all the way around. Okay, so I am going to, but look how cute this is. How cute would this be as a little pillow for your tear tray? Oh my goodness. Okay, Amber says she prints on tissue paper too sometimes. I think I've seen you do something, Amber, one time when you did that. But it works out fabulous. I mean, this is cotton fabric and look how pretty this is. I mean, that looks like you bought it somewhere, like it was already printed on the material. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna wax this. Let's see, yeah, I'm gonna wax it. This bottle of wax that I tell y'all, kid y'all all the time that my son Colin bought this for me when we couldn't get all the, the Waverly stuff during the pandemic. And he bought this for me at, a, at Walmart in Arkansas and I was like, son, this will last me my entire lifetime. I told y'all the other day that they were gonna be waxing my coffin with this. I mean, it's gonna last me forever. Cause you know, we don't, we don't really use this much of this. I mean, it doesn't take much to do a project with. So, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I was like, goodness gracious. And if I don't move it, I'm gonna end up knocking it over. So hold on. So I'm gonna wipe, I'm really gonna do the, around the edges where, I just wiped it, slam off of there. Yes, table setting cloth. Look, I wiped it right on off. So maybe I need to leave it on a little longer. 
I don't want it to be just stark white plaster. Y'all know the waxing scares me every time. Nancy, I didn't. I just ran it right through the printer, and there it is. I mean, I hadn't done anything to it since I did it today, so I, I could leave it on there. So I wanted y'all to see how I had it taped. Um, we did something else like that before. What did we do? Oh, the ornaments for the Christmas, well, we did the canvas material, and we Mod Podge them right on there. I did that too on tissue paper. But you can print anything you want to on tissue paper or whatever, and it's going to look fabulous like that. So, you could put, I guess, people's pictures on there. It'd be awesome. Just run it through your printer. Just try it. I mean, don't be scared. Just try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It can mess up the paper. Woo-hoo. No, no more Waverly products? Now, I'm not so much worried about the middle because I'm going to cover that up and I don't want that dark to kind of show through my uh, my cotton, my fabric because it's so thin. I'm just kind of wiping a little bit of it off. Nothing fancy. I did, Rhonda. I ran it through the printer on a piece of paper. I taped it to the paper first. And then I said a little prayer over the printer as it was doing its thing. And I was like, please work, please work, please work. I'm going to do a little more because I wiped a good bit of it off. Doing it again. So there's, like I said, I'm not too worried about the middle because that's going to cover that up, okay? The flood, I know, I, my husband was telling me about the flood today in St. Louis. Oh my goodness. And lots of other places too. I, we don't even, we don't have any rain. So I'm just go ahead and do the back while I'm here. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Lou. I'm so glad y'all are joining me tonight to see what is going on on the craft table. Got in late. It's okay, Lola. You can always watch the replay from the beginning if you want to. Oh, yeah. I got this at clearance at Walmart last fall. Um, and I just painted it with plas uh, plaster from Waverly. And I'm just waxing it. And this is the back just so it'll look kind of finished. But I want it to kind of look uh, a little worn. I don't want it just that plain old plaster. I know y'all really can't see, but it's gonna look better once we get, um, get our, uh, my little thing on there. Uh, Marla, or is it Maria? I can't see, my phone's too far away on this new light. I have to kind of stretch my neck to see. <laughs> Oh, Eastern Kentucky. Oh, my goodness. They don't need anything else. They just had a, um, oh, that's Eastern. Okay, I'm thinking Western Kentucky had the tornado. So I'm just kind of giving it a little dry. The back looks really, really, I'm not really worried about the back. Yes, Pamela, I used um, plaster. And then I just used the antique wax over it. Suzanne, I have a laser printer because I print a lot. Um... But I know you can use it with inkjet because I know people have done it. Oh no, you packed everything and then you had to unpack it all. Goodness. Rain the last two days. We It was supposed to rain here this evening. Black clouds all around us. I was like, we're going to get some rain. And it just went around us. Didn't get any rain. And it's so dry here. Yeah, I got these on clearance at Walmart last year after fall, and it was like five bucks, and so it was probably like a dollar something. And I, I'm just now using them, and now it's fall again. <laughs> Almost fall. So there it is. I know it all looks kind of grungy right now. Avery said it looks awesome. <laughs> Tell Avery she's a sweetheart. She's so cute. Let me see. I gotta find my... 
what did I do with them? And I just cleaned out these drawers yesterday. Yes, here they are. Okay. All right, so there's my cutting board. Here's my little fabric piece. Woo. See, I like all the little frays around the edge. I like all that. So I can't decide if I want to just Mod Podge it. Let's see, did I have it? Which way did I have it? This way. I think I'm gonna Mod Podge it all the way down. Well, that we definitely need it. We need some bad. It's terrible. Hey, Maria. You caught me live, Cynthia. Awesome. Hey, Connie. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and Mod Podge it down. I may end up regretting that, but we're going to see. And y'all, I have a big thing on Mod Podge, but I always pour it in these little bottles because I can put out, as, squeeze out of there as much as I want. So that's just better for me. I know y'all think, my gosh, she must go through those little bottles of Mod Podge like crazy. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's right. So I'm just going to lay this on here. Try to get it even as a, if I can, if that's possible. Because I was just going to like tack it on the corners, but I'm kind of thinking I want it to be a little smoother than that. So that's why I chose the Mod Podge. We're dry here too. It is crazy dry. We have no, no rain. So we're supposed to get some all weekend. So I'm super, super excited. Okay. Got strings everywhere so I don't want my little my little frayed edges to be um, they're still kind of sticking out I didn't mod podge those down but I mod podge the whole thing just because I didn't want it to be wrinkly your grass crunches ours does too I mean it's kind of green it's still hanging in there but when it's over 100 degrees every day it just withers up drought zone. We are too. It's just hot and dry. Okay, so I got that done. Let me put the lids on all of this because y'all know who I am. I will have it. I'll have it on the back of my neck and not even know it. <laughs> hey, Melanie. Hey, Ellen. Two and a half inches of rain since September last year. Oh my word. That is no rain at all. Goodness gracious. Y'all need some rain. Hey, Ashley. Okay, I got the top on that. God, if that wax spilled, I'd be in trouble. Okay, so that's what I got so far. Printed on fabric, super cute. And I need some more wax over here because I don't like. Hmm. I'm thinking, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking about waxing on the fabric, but I'm kind of scared. But I need some right here because I wiped off a little too much. Like every time I touch it, it, I wipe off more. Let me just dab it. Okay. <laughs> Your ground has cracks in it. Ours probably does too, as dry as it is. Okay, so I've got that part done. Now I want to Use my little 99 cent, y'all seen these before, clearance Hobby Lobby upholstery tacks that are very pretty. And I didn't think of this ahead of time, but they're real pretty, they're copper. But I'm hoping, I told y'all I've done this before. Because these aren't the kind that you can just wiggle back and forth because there is no wiggling on these things because they are like really stout. So I bent it down and sometimes it'll just pop right off. So now I just have that little thing. There it goes. Punching a hole in my silicone mat, but it'd be okay. Hey, Carol. Thank you. You're so sweet. All right, so that one did good. 
Let me get over here while I won't punch a hole in my silicone mat. <laughs> There's two holes I've done punched in it. <clears throat> that one didn't go all the way down. There it goes. Hole number three in my silicone mat. <laughs> but yeah, these are some stout tacks. Like, come on. Okay, that's number three. It's gonna look super cute, but we're gonna dress up the top. So I'm not done with it. But yeah, this little 99 cent thing of tax has, there was 20 pieces and I've used this on several crafts. And I love these and they were on clearance. You never underestimate the clearance section, I'm telling you. I get more stuff on clearance or um, the remnant section at Hobby Lobby. Y'all know that's the two places I go when I go in there. I have to go to both of those places. Like I have them around. Come on. This last one's gonna be a booger. You're in Texas and it's bad, bad there. Dry? Come on. There it goes. All right. So, I'm gonna put these here. So it's gonna look like this. The copper, I love the copper. Let's see if I can get these little things to stick because you know they're domed, so I have to kind of pile up my hot glue in the middle and hope that they'll stay. Those little boogers get hot. Yes, Carol, love the clearance aisle. Gotta go to the clearance aisle. Cause even if something's not the right color, like these, I knew that I was not gonna leave this this way. I bought them for the strict purpose that I was gonna redo them. Yes, Susan, you gotta go to clearance. Cause some stuff is just back there because nobody bought it. And then it's like, oh, well I can paint that and I can do something to it. Doesn't have to stay like it is. Those little boogers are hot. Okay, so there's my little thing. But see, you, if you don't wanna do this on fabric, then totally do it on tissue paper, like I did here. Um, dictionary pages, I just wanted to try it so I could show you different examples. Or you could even just do it on paper and do the same thing that I'm doing. But I wanted just to print it on the fabric just to see if I could do it. And it had worked. <laughs> you never know. Still dry in Texas. <laughs> you stayed away, Kaylee, from the clearance aisle. Those little burgers are still hot. Okay. So now, let me move all my paper. I want to do something at the top. And I'm probably going to... Take some of these beads. Have y'all got these from the Dollar Tree? I have other bees, beads, but I wanted to use these because I haven't used them yet from Dollar Tree. And I want to hang like a little, um, some beads off there. Donna, it is a Walmart Ad Tech Precision Tip $8 glue gun. Because my last one I had like this lasted like 13 years and it still works. I just had to get a new one. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to do... So they're going to be... I might just wipe them with some wax. Hey, Gail. I know I love it on the fabric too. And when I was doing this, I was thinking to myself, this would be cute as a pillow. A cute little pillow. It's very dry in Louisiana. Oh, those tacks, yes, match the sunflower. And actually, I have some copper paint right over here. I was playing with it today because what I was going to do just didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so I had to change gear. So I just wiped stain on them. Your DT is sad. I know, the, the trick to it is, I think, is you have to go to different ones, several different ones. 
I haven't been to the big one in Germantown lately, but I'm itching to go because I want to see if they have their fallout, but be my luck. I'd get all the way up there because it's like 30 minute drive, 40 minute drive for me. Um, and they won't have it out yet. All right. So there's that. And I'm kind of thinking y'all, this is my favorite copper paint from Michael's. Um, that's, um, It's copper, it's just copper, but it's their multi-surface metallic paint. And it's so super pretty. Come on. I about need some more. Okay. And I'm gonna paint the center bead, I think. Just that copper. Maybe that stick. Oh, and by the way, I will tell you this. You know, I used the rub and buff the other day, and I used a paintbrush on the sunflowers, I think it was, or something I used them for, used it for. It won't come out of your paintbrush, just so you know. <laughs> it was a little bitty paintbrush I used, and I washed it with soap and water, and it didn't come out, but now I know. All right, that's done. So let's see. Call, yeah, I tried to call them, you know, and they didn't answer the phone. Imagine that. So, yeah, I did try that. All right, so now the copper ones. See how pretty this is? Let me back it up. It looks more orange to you on the camera, but it's a really pretty copper. Oh, I want to go to a DT Plus. I've never been to one. Don't even know where there is one close to me. Um... I'm just wiping some wax on it to tone it down just a little. I don't have enough on here. Oh yeah, the calendars. I know everybody's saying the calendars are out. And honestly, I'm not a calendar crafter, y'all. I just, I've never, I've never done it because a lot of crafters were doing it and I was like, well, it's all, all pretty, pretty much been done. So I've never actually used a calendar page. Isn't that crazy? Hey, Jerry. Oh, Laurie, you missed how I paint on fabric? We'll have to do that. We did some cute uh, pumpkins, what was it, last year? Or the year before? I can't remember. Um, I know. It's about time for me to paint again because I haven't painted in a while. All right, so I got my little beads. Two of them are stained, well waxed, and then this one's copper and it's got wax on it. So I think I'm going to take my jute. This is like really thin jute. Rub and buff, it's all base. Yeah, it's, it's all base. I kind of figured that, so I figured that it wasn't gonna come out of my paintbrush. I wish ours would be a DT Plus. So I just tied a couple of knots in it. And y'all know me, I'm gonna cut it way too long because I'd rather have too much than not enough. So I think I'm just gonna do a waxed one and then the copper in the middle. And then another waxed one. Hey Holly, you're okay. Just, I just wanted a little something something on the end. Getting a Dollar Tree Plus. Wow, that's nice. I wish I wish mine would turn into a plus or somewhere near me would. Um, hey, Karen. Hey, Dawn. Thank you. Okay. Let me get all this wax off my fingers because when I start messing with this fabric over here, it's going to... I don't want it to get all over my stuff. Okay. So now I've got this up here, okay? But I wanna tie something up here or a bow or some kind of something. I didn't see the calendars last year, but I got a bunch before and I haven't used them. I haven't used them either. Um, I had people send them to me. I, you know, I gifted some, stuff like that. This is, let's see, this is the same fabric, okay? I think I tore these for something else that we did. So I'm just gonna cut some, and I think I'm gonna tie it around the, 
the neck of the board, I guess, and just see how it looks. Now, I, don't, I may not like it, and it may not look good, but we're going to see. Don't know till you try, right? I got all kinds of stuff. I don't like that one. And I got some yellow, but I don't know. I think it's a little bit harsh. Paint thinner and mineral spirits. I can't even talk. Okay, well, I, I, I did it with Dawn, but I'm just going to... This is, I think, from Walmart. And I think I'm just going to... I just want a hint of yellow. And I'm probably tearing it on the wrong side, but... I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it go. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, the beads are in the, yes. But it's been about a month or so ago when I found them. Okay. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep that yellow or not. But I am going to uh, get some of my thick jute and throw in there just because I have jute of all shapes and sizes and kinds and colors and <sighs> who's saying you are boy you are boy yeah y'all we'll just let it go <laughs> let it go okay so I think I'm gonna try to just tie it around the neck now like I said I may not leave this I may end up taking it off but I think I need one more over here like that. Because I just want the yellow just to show a little bit. And I'm not going to tighten a bow or anything like that. I think I'm just going to kind of leave it. Maybe tight in a knot. And my strips may not be long enough. Hold on. We can fix that. Hold on. Let's see. Let me take this short one out. And let's put a long one in there. Okay. That one is going to be short. I'm just going to ignore y'all. <laughs> I'm just going to let it go. Let it go. They leaving somebody else along. I think that's what Amber says. When they're messing with us, they're they're leaving somebody else along. So it's fine. All right, so I'm just gonna tie it on here. This is taking me way longer than it should. And I may not even like it in a knot. I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna have to cut it to get that off. Hold on. Murphy's oil soap. I didn't get it in the middle or something's wrong. So, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is not jiving. This piece. My yellow's like way over there. Now, maybe that's gonna look better. <laughs> yes, Carol, y'all sing it for me. Raffia would be pretty. Yes, I didn't even think about that. I was kind of wanting the ragged look, but I don't know if I should tie it in a knot because, you know, that makes it really short. <clears throat> but I just kind of want it to not really hang way down, but just to give it a little bit of something. And where are my beads? And then I want to tie my beads right in the middle. Try some raffia. I know, I can't reach my raffia. It's like I'd have to get up and go all the way around to over here. <laughs> Make a messy bow and attach with jute. Oh, I could do that too. I, I do the messy bow with everything. <laughs> um... I 
guess he was saying I was a boy because I got an add on. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I know this is taking me like forever. All right. I'm going to leave my beads there. I don't know about this bow. Well, bow, it's a knot. I don't know. Maybe I'll learn to like it. <laughs> My idea was to tie it in a knot and then have my little beads hanging off kind of, y'all know what I'm trying to do, but I don't know if I know what I'm trying to do. So I kind of wanted it just to be kind of shabby, but this, you know, my knot's not, my knot's not, <laughs> yeah, just fun, just to ignore them. I just kind of wanted it to kind of hang. You can't even see. I'm just gonna glue this sucker down is what I'm gonna do. All right. Kind of be to the side like this. That's kind of what I wanted. And I'm gonna just give it some more hair cut like this. See now, and yes, I could hang in this on my little thing back here if I wanted to. Or, if you wanted to get kind of really fancy with it, you could, um, we could glue uh, Jenga blocks on the back and make it stand. I don't know if I'm liking this this bow or not. Should I take, should I, should I try something else? Maybe I should try something else. Maybe I should just try. It's gonna be way too big. Yes, you got to make your sunflowers. So cute. So stinking cute. Got to do it. And then there's that one. I love, 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 love how they turned out. So let me try a, a bow on top. Brenda, you're in the tub watching. That's my friend Brenda. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. You like it like I have it, Renee? No, it's not a napkin, Leanne. I, um, I'm gonna actually put this little template in the in my group. Um, it is on fabric. That's fabric. It's this fabric, actually. And I taped it to my paper, and I just ran it through my printer. How about just the beads? Like this, like that. No, I think that kind of looks funny. The bow is cute. Y'all like my little bow? I don't know. I might have to sleep on that one, too. Hey, Sandy. Just wrap the jute around the top with the beads hanging down. Like, wrap it around the handle? I don't know. Yes, I love it. It's adorable. Well, then I should leave it then. Get my little, see the little beads? I don't know if y'all can see them. Maybe I should, you like it the way it is. Y'all like it the way it is. Just a ribbon once and then tie it with jute on the string. See, I wanted that, just that pop of yellow, but if I do it like, I separate it to the side. Let's see what that looks like. How about the jute get on one side? Oh, no, it's not. So see if I make it just kind of go crazy, I could do it like this and let the beads hang in the middle. <laughs> now we have a messy bow. <laughs> Is that better? Now I let the beads hang down in the middle and I trimmed it. I trimmed this side some more. Now, I think that looks better. <laughs> Shorten the ribbon a little. Yes, that's what I that's what I did. I I, I just gave it a haircut. I 
can never do the raggy bow thing. I just like, you know, the big hangy. I, I don't know. I just can't do it. But look at that. I just kind of, I just cut it. <laughs> just, just gave it a little haircut <laughs> with my beads. See, and if I wanted to, I could put something on this side. And, um, Judy's watching from the tub, too. I know my other friend, Shani, she watches from the tub, too. And it cracks me up. Trim it more. Okay. That looks better, doesn't it? It looks a lot better. You got a haircut. Look at how somebody's hair's in their eyes, and they're doing this all the time. And then they cut it, and it's like, hey, here I am. <laughs> That's how it looks. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I like it better like this. Trim it some more. That one right there. He missed the scissors now. So cute. But can you believe that's fabric? But if you don't have these, you know, Dollar Tree has those little puffy stickers that are circles. You could use those. You could take thumbtacks, do the same thing. Just paint the tops of the thumbtacks. Um, there's, y'all, there's so much you can do with this. But like I said, I'm going to um, put this in where is it i only got 45 copies over here because I, I did it smaller and then i made it bigger and okay so this is my tissue paper one so see i could do it on the other side <laughs> but um but i will be putting this up in the group so you can um print it for yourself you could make a little pillow out of this if you print it on your fabric show the other sunflowers again oh the paper ones. This is brown craft paper and foam board from. It's got curled up. And just that foam board from the Dollar Tree. And we cut all the petals out. There's a template for that in my group too. And I painted it with uh, King's Gold from Apple Barrel, and then I put a little bit of gold paint on it. The center. Everybody who's made these in the group will tell you takes a very long time. <laughs> But you can go back and watch this. This was Mon it was Monday night that I did this. And then I did this one. Let's just take the whole thing down here. Da -da -da. And there's the other one. This is scrapbook paper. This is my wreath holder if y'all haven't seen it. That's been a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Dollar Tree Hobby Lobby and Home Depot or Lowe's. That's where all this came from. And I put it together in no time. It was easy peasy. So this like sits on my buffet in my kitchen, in my house, in my living room, kitchen kind of area. And so I can hang wreaths on it. Um, so this is paper from Hobby Lobby. That's in the specialty paper. And that's the brown and this is the gold. And I did the same exact thing as I did here. But then I stamped on the same fabric that I used tonight. I stamped Stand Tall and Shine. And this is a little bee that's from my shop that we painted and kind of got all grungy. And there's a glue string. But look how pretty that paper is beautiful. Yes, it's so pretty. So I just put them, put it right here. Now I gotta have another hanger for my house. But how cute is this? So let's stand him up here. Turn that way. But I love the sunflowers. And then now I have this. I'm on a sunflower roll. Y'all know how I do. I get on like the brown paper. And now we're doing the sunflowers. <laughs> Susan's been working on the center all afternoon. I mean, it took a, it takes a lot of wrapping to get that center right. But Bonnie, no, I taped it. I taped the fabric to a piece of paper. And I put scotch tape all the way across the top. Look how white the background gets when I do that. It's like, ooh, anyway. And I put it all the way across the top so that when the paper feeds through the rollers, it doesn't get caught. And so it just prints. And then this is tissue paper. So it, print it, it prints it right on the tissue paper. So you could put tissue paper on your cutting board. You could get the little white cutting board from uh, Dollar Tree and paint it and wax it all up and do the same exact thing that I just did. It doesn't have to be one of these. It can be one of those plastic ones. Um, thank you, Karen. I know, Kathy, I love them too. And 
right now is to me like sunflower time because they're kind of you're in the summer but you're kind of getting into late summer our kids go back to school next Thursday you believe that it's gone by so fast oh Johnson City I want to go to Johnson City too there's a place there that sells like all kinds of decor stuff that I've heard oh your your hellos doesn't have it well maybe they'll get some in or, or I know Home Depot has them too if you have a Home Depot or any any spindle that you can use um, but there's the group right there um, if you go to the group and then request to join just answer the questions and we'll get to you and let you in but I'm gonna put this sunflower print in there so you can print it as many times as you want to oh pumpkins in August mine candlesticks not drying um did what kind of glue did you use I used when I did mine I did wood glue and I did um, hot glue, I think is what I did. Try E6000. That should work. I've lost my flip-flop under the table somewhere. <laughs> oh, you were shopping? Fun. Do you, did you do the wreath hanger on a live? I did, Sue. I did it last week. And if you can't find them on Facebook, I know they kind of made it hard to find the videos. Um, they're all... They're on YouTube as well. I worked on that last night and I got them caught up. Um, so there's a YouTube. If you go to Turquoise Valentine on YouTube, all of them are there. Um, but if you go to my main page on Facebook and underneath the picture, it says photos. Click photos and a little menu should drop down and it'll say video and then click video and then all the videos will come up in you know descending order. So it'll be like the like tonight's and then it'll go all the way back in chronological order. Where's the top part? Oh, the top part is from um it's from Hobby Lobby. So this was a round circle from Hobby Lobby, and I've had people ask me to measure that, and I have failed to do that. It's that big chunky round circle from hot from Dollar Tree. Sorry. Okay, it's four inches around. And then the next piece is one of those little plaques from any craft store you can find. They ha all have them, it's like a little wood plaque. And then this is a block from um, from Dollar Tree. This is this uh, spindle is from here to here, and it is nine inches, and it's from Lowe's or Home Depot. And then the top piece is a finial from from Hobby Lobby. So Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree. Home Depot, Hobby Lobby. And then that's just a regular old cup hook and I painted it white. <laughs> so, um, but I used um, wood glue and then I used, I used Gorilla Glue sticks. So I used Gorilla Glue sticks and wood glue because the wood glue actually joins with the fiber in the wood. So it works really good. But I'm telling you, I could, you know, I could probably bang it on the table and it's not going anywhere. Um, what type of printer do I have? Tanya, I have a I have a laser printer. So I have kind of an expensive printer because I print invoices all day. And um, so I have to have a, a good printer because ink, I would be going through ink like every other day. So I have to have a laser printer. But I know it does work with regular, ink, regular printers, the ink printers, because people I know on here have done it and it works. So yeah, so y'all gotta have one of these. And people have made them in the group too and they look fabulous. And paint it to match your stuff. This sits on a piece of black furniture in my house. So I wanted the base of it black and then I distressed it with the white. That's all I did. And then put the hook in and it was simple, simple. So it's very simple. But I wanted it to hang a wreath on, on a tabletop, a little wreath. So I made the brown paper bag wreath the other night and it hangs on here in my house and now it's just leaning up against the, my buffet thing because I took the I took my stand away but see you could definitely anything like this you can make one for your kitchen and you can hang like stuff like this from it look how stinking cute everybody needs one of these little totem pole looking things that's what it looks like is a totem pole Everybody needs a totem pole. 
but you can stain it, anything you want to do to it. But look how super cute this is. Da, da, da. If you had one in your kitchen and you, you could get a little, have a little menu board or any kind of little sign, y'all, the sky's the limit. Um, now I need, I need, I'm gonna probably make two more because I'll figure out another place to put one at my, um, in my uh, house. But I got, I gotta have one here, gotta have one back where this one goes. And now I need, um, I would need another one somewhere. You could put one in the bathroom and put, be our guest, a little sign. Oh, there, you can use this so many places. But yes, it was either last week or the week before. I can't remember. Um, but I just did it. Look, there's Mandy. Look, Mandy, look at my fabric on my cutting board. Ain't it cute? That's Mandy from Western Grace Home Decor. She's my friend. Raining again. I wish it would rain here. We need rain. All the pieces. Oh, Alicia has all her stuff ordered. She's ready to do it. Total, it's a totem ball. That's what it looks like. It kind of was because I kind of just found pieces and parts and put it all together and made this. Um, I know the brown paper wreath looks amazing on hanging on this. It's the perfect size. And, you know, just think at Christmas, make a little wreath to go on here or a sign to hang on here that says Santa, come, Santa stop here or Santa comes in how many days, stuff like that. Y'all are so cute. Every room in the house. That's right. Sharon needs one. Sharon, you'll, you'll make one and then you'll need two <laughs> to put it in your, in your spare bathroom or something like that. Oh, Darlene said we could, you could make it for a hand towel in the bathroom. Yeah, we could get like one of those little hook, those rings. Yes. Oh my goodness. The cutting board, Wendy, this was um, Walmart last year, clearance. I bought several of them, and it's, was it fall time? And you see, it's now fall time, and I'm just now using them. But you could do it on a Dollar Tree, the white ones they have. You could do them on those. You could do it on any kind of, it doesn't even have to be a cutting board. But Hobby Lobby has all their spring off, 66% off, and they had tons of cutting boards. You could find them. Um, Tuesday mornings, you can find cutting boards pretty much anywhere. A, you call mine a, di a pedestal, a display pedestal. Oh, isn't that fancy, Judy? Okay, so I want to show y'all one more thing before I hop off. Um, I know y'all ask me all the time about my lipstick. This, the color I have on tonight is, they're both Maybelline. This color is called Lord Mercy. Enjoy the view, and it's called a Super Stay Ink Crayon, and this is what it looks like. And then the color I wear all the time, I just got this one, is called Speak Your Mind, but it's Maybelline, and it's a Super Stay Ink Crayon, but it also comes in a liquid, like, you know, like a lip gloss, it has a little that sticks down in there and then you put it on your lips. I have that and I didn't even bring it in here, but, and I have it in the same, is this same color, but that's what I wear. Cause I know a lot of y'all have asked. And so I brought it in here so I could show you. <laughs> and it stays on like, if I don't, if I don't wash this off tonight, when I wake up in the morning, it'll still be on my lips. It'll stay on there forever. Um, I made the reef holder. Yes, Luann, I, th I think I saw yours in the group. A bunch of people have made them and put them in the group, and they're just fantastic. Um, lip inks. Yes, Robin, they're wonderful. They stay on forever, like ever and ever and ever. But the, the color I normally wear all the time is Speak Your Mind. And then this one, the newest one I got is called Enjoy the View. But they have a whole bunch of colors. Patty, I don't see it lighting up on my end. Now, Pat okay, Patty got it to light up. Y'all see that comment that Patty just put rad? Click on the purple comment and it will it will do something really cool on the screen. <laughs> we were doing that on Mandy's Live last night. I was having the best time. Craft with a fake pumpkin. Yes, I'm gonna do pumpkins. I've been trying to hold back, but I'm trying I'm 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 just gonna get into the 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 fall for sure. 
Oh, Alicia, did you go to the Dollar Tree? I wish we had a plus. I want a plus so bad. Um, the ink stays longer than the liquid gloss. Yes, Robin, it does. Put lipstick in your favorite tab so we can see. <laughs> right? It's like, because I everybody, somebody always asks on the live, and my moderators say, hey, somebody wants to know what kind of lipstick you have on, and so I forget, and that I grabbed it. When I put it on tonight, I remembered. Um... That's right, Patty. Y'all are trying to get it turned purple. I don't know why some people's is purple and some people's it. And it's really neat when you hit the thing and it's so cool. It does that. <laughs> it's radical, dude. Yes, and if you type, you got this, it'll do something else. XO, 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 it'll do something else. Um, what was the other one? There was another one that we did. I can't remember what it was. Congrats, I'll do it too. Um, do you need lip liner? Donna, I don't. I don't use lip liner. I don't have much lips. <laughs> They're just like, I have little bitty lips. George, Jordan, Jordana from Walgreens. It stays on and it's matte toffee. Okay, I'm going to have to try that. And that's the brand, Jordana? Or is that the, you said toffee was the color. <laughs> oh, Tina, Maybelline, Superstay Ink Crayon. I know you can't read that because it's like, it's got, it's super, it's silver writing, so I know you can't really see it. And I, this is the color I just got, and this is the color I normally wear. It's called Speak Your Mind, and then the new one I just got is called Enjoy the View. But they're like, it's ink. So, I mean, it goes on like, you know, it's it's like just like a lip crayon. You know, it's a smooth and whatever. But then it kind of dries on your lips. And it's there. It's not going anywhere. It'll be there to the next day. Um, me either, Beverly. As I've gotten older, it's kind of like gone. But I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go do this, you know, and do the, do the whole Thing. I don't want to, I'm scared to do that. See, I don't know why it's not turning colors for y'all. Sometimes it does and sometimes it don't. It's weird. It's not colored on my end. Huh, that's so weird. And then Becky did it caps. It's not working. <laughs> we were all doing it on Mandy's last night and it was all, you know, then you click it and it does stuff on the screen for you. It doesn't do it for me. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's you've, like you, and then the apostrophe V-E. I don't know. Word party. <laughs> I'm having a word party. Okay, it's working on your end. See, they're not colored on my end. A couple of them were, but now nah, they're not colored on my end. Y'all are just having the best time. <laughs> it was... XXO, what was the other one? You got this. Um, congrats, we'll do it. Congrats, I think it's balloons. I don't know. We have to Google that and see what words they are. We'll just have to use them all. <laughs> oh, about the free group. It's um, um, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. That's my community group. And that's where I will put this as soon as I hop off. I'm going to put this printable in there so y'all can go in and y'all can do this and try it on some fabric. Oh, it did it for you? Okay, so see on my end, it's not colored. They make noise. Yes, it makes noise and little balloons or something come out. It's different, different things. I know, Diane, I know. I know. <laughs> they worked for you. Okay. Thank you, Beverly. Yes, Red Hearts. Doing, uh, do congrats and see if that does it. Because that should do something too. I don't, yeah, Leah, I don't want, I don't want duck lips. <laughs> I don't want big old puffed up duck lips. <gasps> 
not everybody that looks like that that has it done, but I would be scared it would do that to me. <laughs> Y'all are having the best time. Hearts and balloons. I know it is neat. It's really neat. But I want to know what the other words are because I know there's probably got to be more. Um, yeah, you're the best. You've got this. Okay, Judy, so it's you've got this and not you got this. Okay. The color, the one I always wear is speak your mind. And then this one is, I don't know why I can't remember. Enjoy the view. And it's more of a core, it's like a brownish color. But it's Maybelline Ink Crayon. Beverly, I would be scared that the, you can try the drop cloth. But I would be, I would be worried about it getting hung in my printer. So I try to be something as thin as possible. I mean, you can try it and see. I mean, Carol ran, um, she ran canvas material through hers. So, you know, off a real canvas through her printer and it worked. So it may work. <laughs> Y'all are having so much fun with this. No, <laughs> Patty. Y'all just pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Type in, um, Pew, pew, like P-E-W, P-E-W, and see if that does something. For some reason, I want to think it does something. Right, Diane? Oh, Lord, this way he loves my voice. Yeah, type in pew, pew, like pew, pew. Yes, <laughs> I did make something tonight. We're just sitting here talking about all the fun, cool things on Facebook. I printed this on fabric. That's cotton fabric on this little cutting board that I got at clearance last year from Walmart. Painted it and waxed it, and that's what I got. So I wanted to see if I could print on this uh, material, and it worked on my printer. Okay, so did it, y'all tell me if it did it because I can't see on my end. Look at Laurie, pew pew, pew pew. <laughs> y'all are so funny. Oh. Okay, so Annalise did on Inkjet, and her Santa worked on the canvas material that Carol did. Is it working? <laughs> it's not working. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are having fun trying, though. <laughs> Y'all are so funny, because I can't tell it on my end. Oh, Becky said it worked. Beverly, I taped it to a piece of regular copy paper. And I, I was sure to tape it all the way across the top, you know, where it's going to go in, you know, where it goes through the rollers. And this is tissue paper. But I did the fabric the same way. I taped it all the way across and then ran it through my material, my, my material, ran it through my copier. And it printed on the, on the material just like that. And you can do it with tissue paper also. And um, you can use that and Mod Podge it on here too. You got hearts. No, it's on regular. That's regular copy paper. Regular paper. <laughs> y'all are, are getting so much entertainment. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm about to go back and watch just so I can go and hit all the little things that y'all <laughs> typed in there. Good night, Darlene. <laughs> Y'all are having fun. Oh, my goodness. You're working. Shelly's working. She's like, I'm working, people. Y'all are being funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to Google and see if there's any more words. <laughs> You're the best works. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and... um. Let y'all go and y'all have had some entertainment. And I hope y'all give this a try. And I'm going to go put this in the group as soon as I get to my computer. That's what I'm going to go and do. So, um, so I will catch y'all Monday. Monday. Yes, Monday. So, y'all have a great weekend. I hope we get some rain. And I, I hope everybody in the flood and everything, it, I hope all that goes down. And y'all can salvage what you have left. Bless their hearts. 
Um, it don't take much, does it, Linda? BFF. Okay, Connie gave us a list. I can't even read it all. All right, guys. Well, I will hop off, and I will see y'all Monday night. Have a great weekend. Thank y'all for being here and being part of my page. And if you're new, thank you for watching. See y'all later, guys. Love y'all. Bye.